have no one here. Go away. Go back to sleep. Oh, I'm ever so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Hey. It's okay. I'm not here to harm you. Oh, you want to know how I got in? Well, I was summoned. So, I'm what you humans might call a, a demon. Uh, some people refer to us as a sleep paralysis demon, but in your case, you do not have sleep paralysis. We are summoned to all the people that need help sleeping, or people that may be somewhat restless, or have nightmares in their sleep. We are here to watch over you and kind of monitor your dreams, if you will. Uh, why yes, I... I do watch you sleep. Shh, sh sh no. I know that sounds creepy. Just calm down, would you? If I wanted to haunt you, I, I would have done it by now, would I not? They designate us demons to people in order of compatibility, so you and I were matched together because we are compatible together. You don't believe me? It's okay, I, I don't expect you to understand. If I were in your situation, I, I probably wouldn't understand either. No, I, I don't just stand over you the entire night. That would be way too uncomfortable. Do you know how fast my feet would begin to ache? No, uh, I actually, I actually live under your bed. Well, I live under your bed because it's a place that's out of sight and not too obvious. No, uh... Why on earth would I hide in your wardrobe? Too obvious. Surely that would be more unsettling. Oh, no, that, that's where you're mistaken. Being a demon is far from easy. Do you know how difficult it is to move around without waking you up? You're a rather light sleeper, or have you know. Every toss and turn I make stirs you and vice versa. Also, I really don't like being referred to as a demon. I mean, come on, I feel like we seem to be getting on together quite well, don't you think? Oh, uh, I'm sure your opinion of me will change with time. We have only just met after all. I don't know, it's just the word demon has such a negative connotation to it and it, it's so stereotypical. In all of the movies, the kid will go running to their parents because there is a scary monster under their bed. Yes, I have heard all about those movies. And while I am here having a little rant, you'd think that people would design beds to be a little bit more roomy on the underneath. I mean, it's a cramped enough space as it is, and then you humans will come along and shove more random items under there with us. We are more like Guardian angels. I know, tell me about it. I look far from friendly. We watch over you and keep you safe, and although we are rather shy creatures, in dire straits for such as these, we are also there to comfort you and be that little bit of company you need from time to time. I am just your protector. Yes, I... I do apologise if my tale is at all distracting to you. It tends to slish around a lot when I get a little nervous. It gets very crammed under here very quickly. I I shouldn't be distracting you like this. I, I feel bad enough as it is for waking you up. Why do you want to know so much about my experiences anyway? No, you should be going back to sleep. You're not going to sleep until I tell you more, are you? Fine. No, I, I don't just sit there and do nothing while I'm under your bed. I have plenty to do under there. 
I play video games, I colour, I read, you know, that sort of thing. Well, just because you can't see my belongings under your bed doesn't mean that they do not exist. Sometimes I have to lay flat under there because when you toss and turn during the night, the bed springs press down against my horns. But luckily enough, my horns are really strong. You needn't look so guilty, it doesn't hurt. I just, I lay flat so that when you're drifting off to sleep, my horns don't ram into your back through the mattress. I don't really do an awful lot of sleeping because I need to be there for you if you should need my assistance. Although, I do sometimes find myself drifting off to the comforting sound of you gently snoring. It reminds me that I'm not alone. You can't deny the fact that you snore. I've heard it clear as day, many a time. You talk in your sleep too, well, it's more like mumbling actually. When you start talking in your sleep, I, I listen really closely. Quite often, sleep talking can be an indicator of a nightmare, so I need to be on hand to steer your dreams into a positive one if it starts to turn sour. There is one thing about dreams that I find particularly fascinating, is that all humans seem to share similar fears, and they always seep their way into the person's deeper unconsciousness when they're sleeping. Fears find a way of wriggling their way into dreams, and I have come to realise that you and I share a fear. Our biggest fear is the fear of loneliness. Your fear of being alone is so relatable to me also. I mean, I have feelings too. I'm not a monster. I know I may look like one, but I assure that my heart is in the right place. I would give anything to change the way I look. The horns, the tail. If only I look like a cute and cuddly demon, people may find me more approachable then. But I feel like even though I look like this, I feel like you're starting to understand me. What's that? Y you want me to talk to you more often? Uh, yes, I, I would love that. As long as you still fit in at least eight hours of sleep a night. A good sleep schedule is extremely important, you know. You think you're alone. But you're not. Every night, at this very same time, we can sit and talk about anything. You can get all your fears and insecurities out in the open, or you can just tell me what sort of things you get up to during your day. Because I, I don't really ever get to see what sort of things you do during the day. I mean, this is a night job after all. It warms my heart to know that you feel comforted in my presence. I feel the same way about you. You're so sweet. You can always turn to me too, you know that. You really do have a heart of gold, I hope you know that. Well, for now, I need to get going. It's getting late tonight. I've had enough of nettering for one night. Yeah, I, I don't really have a great concept of human time, but you do. And we both know that you should be sound asleep right now. No, I, I won't be going far. You know where I reside. I will be laying under your bed, just chilling, making sure that your dreams are pleasant, and sweet. I'm glad we got to know each other. This has been the happiest night of my life. We shall talk again tomorrow. Now close those pretty eyes and go to sleep. Sweet dreams.